Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm BJ Christensen with Promontory Club Luxury Real Estate. Today we're checking out 9358 Dye Cabins Drive. This is four bedrooms plus a loft, five bathrooms, 4,551 square feet. Let's go inside and have a look. This home was finished at the end of 2018. It's only a few years old. This is a uh, die cabin built by Promontory. Uh, the die cabin's neighborhood. It's got a great location. I'm, I'm close to the main gate, which is uh, connects me onto I-80 if I want to go into Park City or Salt Lake or wherever. It's a very convenient location as far as getting out into the rest of the world too. And then the die cabin's neighborhood is, is um, unique in that it also allows short-term rentals if you wanted to, so you've got some flexibility of use. Um, of these homes if you want to rent it out when you're not using it. So come in here and through the entry, I've got a powder that's right here and a, and a coat closet there by the front door. And we're gonna swing around and go into the master suite first, right through here. So I come in, I've got this, another little alcove for the entry uh, and walk in, I've got a large suite in here, big king size bed, so we got a lot of room in this room. I've got French doors too. You can walk out onto the deck, we'll get another look at that as well off the kitchen, but that wraps around and connects to the other, other side of the house. So great to be able just to walk outside. South is that direction as well too and facing south. So a lot of good sunlight in the winter time when you want it and the not direct sun in the summertime, which is nice as well too. So great space there if we walk in this way. Um, there's a master bath in here. Got my heated floors feeling nice on my toes right now. The freestanding tub. Big glass shower with a, kind of a rain shower head as well too there in the middle and a second and a half wand there on the side. So lots of water coming down in that shower. So really nice space here. Got two closets. Got a walk-in closet here. Kind of a his and hers. Smaller one here and then a larger one in through here as well too. So a lot of um, good closet space uh, with two closets uh, in here. All right, there's a look at that. Let's go back out and explore the main room here as we get in here. Go ahead and get the blinds opened up. So look at this living space. I've got the vault in the ceilings with these cool beams going through there. So I've got a, a few mountain elements in the home. It's kind of a traditional bone structure to a degree. And, uh, but being only a few years old, a lot of the interior finishes uh, have more modern or transitional elements. So the fireplace, I've got some great stone here, uh, but it's not real like bulky and, and terribly mountainy. It's kind of a nice transitional look. It's still very bright, so kind of some light stone as well too, light colors throughout. And then I get that, that contrast with the darker beams. So I move into the dining area here, room for a large dining table right in this space, as you can see. And then I can go outside from here too, out on the deck. So I come out here and I've got uh, views. There's the Bald Mountain at Deer Valley, uh, the top of Park Seed Mountain Resort. I've got Jupiter Peak in 10420 right over there. And then out this way, I'm looking at the Uinta uh, Mountains out here to the southeast and uh, just a nice view out here, a lot of trees. Uh, I've got golf course looking down that way as well too. So a nice place to sit out here in the afternoon or the evenings. I've got this cool covered area back through here as well too, where I've got the barbecue grill set up. So um, I've got some covered spaces well also outside. Kind of like the sun decks here, especially with the southern facing um, exposure where I'm gonna have just the right amount of sunlight that I want uh, out on these decks. Let's go back inside. Country style kitchen in here with my island. Of a, it's my, my chopping block countertop here in the center. Very functional workspace. And I've got my little triangle set up here with my built-in, uh, with my fridge, Sub-Zero fridge that's here. And I love how it's all matched with the cabinets as well too. I've got my fridge and freezer, 36 inch Wolf gas range. The kind of country style sink that's there. The big windows let in that light. So great kitchen space. I love the tops and the, the colors of the wood that they've chosen for the cabinets. So really good looking space here, very functional kitchen. I've got my mud room here as well too, where I've got uh, room for my washer and dryer and a bench coming from the garage, sit down, you know, take my shoes off stuff two-car garage right up through here as well too. And that's got uh, uh, more cabinets for like ski storage and stuff out there as well too. So a lot of good storage space in the garage. Let's go check out the loft upstairs. So the loft is a nice feature to this home. It can be used as maybe an office um, and or, you know, a sitting area. 
Um, I could have this be a pull-out like sofa sleeper or something if I wanted to have it for uh, additional guests. Uh, with the pony wall here, that's gonna give me some privacy as well too from the downstairs up here. So if someone is sleeping up in this space, then this would give them uh, privacy and separation from, from the downstairs. But a lot of room up here, got a big closet up here as well too. So this could be a number of different spaces, either individually or you know, kind of combo and do a couple things all at once. All right, let's go check out the lower level. So downstairs, you get downstairs and I've got another uh, living space down here. So a place for more guests or kids or whatever it may be. Uh, room for game table, big sectional couch. Got another fireplace down here and then this awesome wet bar uh, with the cool like metal, almost coin looking kind of backsplash here in my, uh, my metal sink also. Uh, really cool look there, kind of shiny and uh, kind of pops out here in this space. So out here, I've got a patio that goes outside as well too. Uh, I've got a fire pit outside there too. So good spot to set there in the evening if I want. It's covered as well too. So if it's a hot day or something, whatever, I can, I've got you know, some shade options uh, down here as far as being outside too. Well, let's go and check out uh, this bedroom here. Got a bedroom suite here. This is a queen size bed, so I got a good amount of space in this room and then it has its own attached bath also. Really nicely done, um, similar to kind of the light tops with the darker uh, cabinets, and almost kind of the brass -ish color handles, really cool uh, color scheme and contrast going on there. And I've got a shower in here also, so it's full suite here for this bedroom. We work back through downstairs living space. We've got, first off, another bedroom here, and they've got this set up as a bunk room. So I've got these two large bunks, it's got a queen size bed underneath there and then twins up top. So you can put a bunch of people in here, which is nice. You can put adults up in some of these larger beds as well too. Big window for some good natural light. Uh, really just kind of a fun setup here in this room. And then right across the hall from this, where the bathroom is for this bedroom. So I've got a full bath, so I've got a tub shower combo in there and I've got a pocket door um, in between here. So that if um, you have someone in here showering or something and someone brushing their teeth or whatnot. So kind of nice having this set up, especially with the bunk room right across the way. So it can be used by a couple people at the same time. And then back in here, this is the, uh, the fourth bedroom in the home. Uh, another queen size or full size, I think it's a queen size bed. So good size room here. And then the bathroom in here, kind of a similar color scheme setup as that other bath we saw. Really good looking bathroom. All right, thanks for joining me for this video. Again, this is 9358 Die Cabins Drive. I'll put a link in the description below for information on the home. Make sure you follow along, uh, like, and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And I will see you next time.